When Yellowstone erupts again, which it inevitably will, it won't matter whether people live in Bozeman, Montana or Cody, Wyoming, they'll both die. New seismology research has finally pinpointed the exact location on the ground where the eruption will occur. If it dies from magma rather than ash, the northeast of the park is the place to be. A team from the United States Geological Survey USGS, which published its report last week in Nature Geoscience, also measured the percentage of rock in Yellowstone's magma reservoir that was actually melted. They found that none of it was even close to the level that would allow an eruption to occur. Much of the top of the mountain broke off and slid down the slope in a massive landslide. What was left behind was a caldera. Instead, a large pool of magma sits just beneath a shallow layer of surface rock. That's what lurks beneath the surface in Yellowstone National Park. But unlike Mount St. Helens, the Yellowstone caldera doesn't have just one magma reservoir beneath it. It has four. The Yellowstone caldera has a long history. The caldera has erupted at least three times before. Previous eruptions have left the northeastern region relatively untouched, but that could change with the next eruption. To find the magma, the USGS team used a network of stations that measure the conductivity of material deep underground.